In this 4 minute videos for developers, we are going to see how to trigger errors using RaceFall policy and do API for handling. Myself Anand Sagar, I work at Google and Apigee platform. Prerequisites for this video, you need Apigee Edge account and you need basic understanding of Apigee API proxy. For that, you can refer earlier 4 minute videos. As you know, Apigee Edge sits in between the client and target system where you can able to do a lot of API validation in Apigee Edge without even changing a code at the backend system. You can handle the faults and you can also raise new faults in Apigee Edge and do the fault handling. Let's see how it works. Let's say whenever a request comes to Apigee Edge and you want to do some validation. If the validation fails, then obviously you want to raise a fault and then do the fault handling. You can able to do that using raise fault policy. Similarly, whenever a response comes back from the backend, you would like to validate some conditions and you want to raise fault using raise fault policy and then handle the fault using fault rules in the error flow. Let's see how it works in action. Let's create a simple API proxy to demonstrate same. Click on press proxy button to create a simple proxy, choose reverse proxy and then click on next. So I'm going to name my proxy as uh, fault rules, raise fault demo. I'm going to say proxy base path as slash v1 slash rf demo1 and choose the existing API as uh, http bin.org slash get and choose authorization as pass through, click next, choose default, so build and deploy. Once API proxy is deployed, uh, click on the proxy link to access the proxy overview screen as well as the proxy endpoint. Let's make an API call to the proxy that we have created. As you can see, it just gives back the response. Now let's say you want to validate that client should not be sending more than three query parameters to the backend. And if client sends more than three parameters, uh, then you would like to raise a fault and handle the fault uh, so that you can able to protect your backend. Let's see how to do that. For example, now if I send uh, query parameters like A is equal to one and B is equal to two and C is equal to three and uh, D is equal to 4. As you can see, the backend uh, takes all the four parameters and uh, gives back the same in the response. Let's see how to protect the backend and raise the fault if the request contains more than three query parameters. We can able to raise faults, new faults in Apigee Edge using raise fault policy. You already seen how various Apigee policies also raises faults based on certain conditions like whenever Coda gets exhausted, but you can also customize these faults using raise fault policy. So I'm going to attach uh, a RSFed policy, click on uh, proxy in point default preflow and then click on plus step. So I'm going to attach the RiseFault policy, I'm going to name it as RiseFault check query parameters. Click on add. As you can see, you can also set uh, the fault response whenever this fault gets executed. So I'm going to say uh, this particular fault response as more than three query params are not allowed. Let's uh, put a policy condition when to execute this particular raise fault policy. So we're going to do that using policy conditions. I'm going to put a condition. So let's update the condition when to execute this raise fault. So we are going to execute this raise fault whenever query params count is greater than or equals four. Start raise session. And let's make the same API call with uh, more than three query parameters. As you can see, if you send more than uh, three query parameters, then you are going to see this particular error, more than three query parameters not allowed. As you can see, the raise fault policy got executed and uh, it uh, raised a new fault where it immediately went into the error flow. So that's how we can able to raise custom faults in Apigee Edge using raise fault policy. If you have any questions, please feel free to post your questions in comment at Thank you for watching this video and subscribe to YouTube channel and share this video with your friends and colleagues.